iron from ice. Yeah, I feel much less entirely inept playing oh, it yeah, after you, having you it. You instantly picked it up. <laughs> that was awesome. It was like dodge, then oh duck. Dodge, duck, dive, and duck. D dip, duck. dove, dive, duck, and ditch. <laughs> I don't know. Ditch. Now, now it's more open, and so you, you'll use W A S and D to move. I can only look at myself. Th this is the angle that you're currently doing. How do I change angles? You can't. I mean, it's it's directed. Look at. Blood. What? How fresh. 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 <laughs> fresh. Blood fresh. <laughs> Dead pig. Got it. Friend was talking about being a pig farmer. Mm -hmm. <gasps> no. You can use a shift to move faster. I, I would. Oh, check out that cart over there. This one. Might be something in it. I don't think so. I think there's something in that cart. Okay. Hold shift. What? While you run? Yeah, you kind of shuffle a little bit faster. Oh, I do. Uh -huh. That's father's car. <gasps> yeah, I'm the pig farmer. Yeah, you. That's what my friend said. But your uncle's big. Lord Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Bolton. Right, he's the guy who betrayed the North, right? But at least still have his bacon. Keep going. This is all you? Am I sneaking? Uh -oh. Yeah, Bolton is the guy who betrayed the Stark. And Rob Stark. So. Thanks. Keep going. I don't wanna... Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Father, I said move on. You need to draw your sword. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. Where'd you get that sword? He told me to keep it from people. Not a chance that die. sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. None of your fucking business. We're gonna feed you to the fucking pigs. That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he like a proper lordly soul like that. Cute. No. I'll have that sword, boy. Fuck you. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. Which is which is your weapon of choice? Pig farmer. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. I mean, I would have gone for the pit. But... The pitchfork. Yeah. Grab it. Oh, oh, damn. That was super oh, mean. Tap it, tap it, tap it. Really fast, really fast, really fast, and then get ready to press E. 
Merci. Please. Merci. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive Everyone's without me. What do you family. think? He had a family. No, please. I had a family. Your wife kill. will see you kill. for this. That was fucking cool. As I promise. He did kill my dad. Holy shit. <laughs> he was unarmed. <laughs> They're easier to kill that Father? way. <laughs> Got it. You survived. Your, your sister. She hid. I tried to stop them. Oh, oh no. You're just having a shitty week. It's not the best week I've had. I'll kill the man who did this. You to see the intro between everything. Yeah, yeah, that would be <laughs> <laughs> chapter two. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> it's Garrett. It's weird because verbally, Get like custody. anytime they Time ask me to do something, survive. I respond very timidly. But action-wise, I'm ultra aggressive. I will fucking kill I'll fucking anyone. Kill you. <laughs> I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester. Meet us in the great hall. Wait, wait, Quickly. wait, wait sister. She was dead. Those were her feet sticking out of that log. Oh, I didn't see. <laughs> Two white hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Maester. Hmm. The blade cut deep. But I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? It's looking drag. Ew! Ew! Are you feeling immersed? Ew. <laughs> oh God! Dark days, I fear. Why? <laughs> Why <laughs> that? Immersed <laughs> now. <laughs> now you feel the world. Act of treachery and betrayal. God, that's Every nasty. <laughs> Times such as this, the late Lord Forrester was a good man, and poor Roderick, a serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Well, what do we do now? The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young, and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. He's not gonna seal them in there, is he? Hold this for me, will you? I don't know how it worked back then. <laughs> I understand from I'll your uncle that Lord just go ahead and let those maggots Forrest die in there. <laughs> he did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. Some Is this the person I'm supposed to tell? Doesn't train it's not right. No, no. Warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Although I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first. To see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh.
Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. It's asking you to go check out stuff. What's that little sword icon right there? Uh, that's that's what you currently have. That's your inventory. So all you have is the sword. Got it. But you might gain other items. Okay. I have to tell my uncle who. Yeah, your uncle's the one who's the lord here, I think. Uh, I guess it would be your father's brother. Yeah. You need to tell him that the iron with grove should never Red fall. Red grove can't fall or something. It's North grove. Or North grove. I think that's what it was. So he's checking stuff out. I I, I saw it. I okay. Walk back to him. Oh yeah, I have control of things. Let me run on it. <laughs> That was a fun little glide down the stairs. <laughs> Maggots in a cup. Fuck. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No. I guess. What the fuck is wrong with me? What's the... What's the yeah. This might help. Oh, nice. You got it. Yoink. It's the blue pig of the Oh, what's this thing? This might help. Looks good. Yoink, <laughs> just taking shit. <laughs> uh, right click to back out. You can talk to him. Ooh, look at the tapestry. That's what they're for? Hmm. You <laughs> seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Maestro. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a forester myself. That's kind of a cool way to... Mirror. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. This is an easy way to do Talia exposition. And Ethan. Yeah, it's cool. That's what I, yeah. I suppose Lord Ethan now. So that's, I guess, the new king. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. And I guess the guy to the right Gregor of him is Roderick? Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. And that must be the guy. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Oh. Wait, what guy? I, I I thought it was gonna be someone well, else. He's squiring for this family. Yeah. So his uncle hmm? wouldn't be. I may right? be mistaken. I thought he'd be doing the tapestry. You do seem able to put weight on it. If it won't let you go back there, then might be time to talk. Uh, I would not show him the sword. Well, <laughs> that's just me. Your leg feel weak? You could. No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I leave now? Uh, wait. Who's the new lord? Who is the new lord of House Forester? Why, Ethan, of course. You're only supposed to tell your uncle. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn, yet the very fate and future of this house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... circumstances, it becomes a bit tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire, if that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. 
Ethan's the boy. Maybe you could become a knight. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Is he an asshat? He seems like an Probably. asshat. Yeah. Why do the White Hills hate the foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. No, oh, it's cook on the ironwood thing. Yeah, the White Hills want forester ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Can I go now? Grab another beer. I believe your leg will be okay. fine. Any time will tell, but <gasps> Lady Forrester. Ooh. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. <laughs> Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything... He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. He said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. You have the Forester sword. Pretty sneaky. Ethan should have it, now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. So I was supposed to return the sword to them. This yeah. was our land. You have to tell them. I have to tell my uncle. People. Your family! I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. This happened on Forester land. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within the week. Those men will say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need That's to be uncle. smart. Smart. Now, Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that got him. So, what's to be done? <sighs> My uncle's... Ultimately, that guy. Him. Will no, be no, for no. Lord him. Ethan to decide. Okay. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this... But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. <laughs> I'd like to see them try. Jeez, I'm afraid it's a risk him. we cannot take. 
Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? Duncan! Let them come. I don't care. I don't they mean to be hitting the ones I'm hitting. Be careful I'm... about it. It's not safe for you here, Garrett. There's only one place beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong! Not in the eyes of the Boltons. He's gonna send I'm afraid the it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. Why didn't I tell him when I was supposed to tell him? I think you will. <coughs> nope. <laughs> Bye. Were it up to me, I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider <coughs> first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. In my heart, I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? Yeah, the tablet. What is it? Lord Forrester. Asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, Tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Nice work. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Yeah, this house seems to be positioned near the wall. <laughs> yeah, because it swung right just... up, Right over to the west. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Remember... You represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. We will see each other again. Silence is a viable option. It, it is. <laughs> Garrett, wait! You probably had a thing with her. Tall, yeah, yeah. She's sad for me that my family died. Here's a necklace. Be safe. She's kind of young to have had a thing with her. Yeah, like her. Mary Chicks were 10 at that age. That time period. Yeah. In this fictional universe. Yeah. So.